before this microscope that we're talking about, everything was mercury. So this microscope represents a breakthrough technologically. So I got this I-4 microscope right here. This is beast. Do you see? There's a size difference. We'll, we'll look, look, look closer in a second. Um, I'm, I'm getting excited now. Th this, this microscope is absolutely crazy. So I describe it loosely as riding a Ferrari spaceship into the microscopic world. It feels incredible. You make National Geographic level images without even trying. They just happen. And I know it because I've been, I've been working with people who are my mentors and who are leaders, global leaders in microscopy, in microscopy photography. And, and so anyway, you'll see, well, you'll see, you'll see. So it's this, this, this guy right here, this thing, this, this wonderful thing. Uh, I'm, I'm in love with my microscope. See, that's the thing. There's like a joy that happens with this microscope. No joy. Um, and, and, and you'll see why. So this is that beautiful thing right there. Notice that giant chunky thing on top. Notice how thick the, the tubes are on it. This is a beast in comparison. This is a much larger machine. Doesn't require that much room on the thing because it's uh, it's got a great base to it, but it's huge. It's very tall. See a little closer, the objectives look different. Even the condenser is chunkier and more sophisticated. This is the camera, it's a 4K camera. I'm telling you the 4K camera makes a huge difference. All right, this is this one of the secrets of this microscope. It's absolutely incredible. It's the epifluorescence lumen lamp. The light shines at 490 nanometers, and then the light that shines back is actually capped at 510, and then everything above 510 you can see. And that allows us to see the actual fungi and phosphorus and and other things as you'll learn and and so I, th this is one of the cool things is that because the research was not dynamic because the research was 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 very linear they didn't test like these things out with anything other than exactly what they were focused on for their graduate school program or their phd or their doctorate so you have these like these like deep penetrating potentially insightful studies and con even concepts that you see out in the world, but they're not connected to anything yet. And so I was like, well, how do we know these things are true? How do we know these things connect? How do, like, and so I was able to do a lot of research and prove out a lot of things that, that no one's seen before. And so I'm really excited. I'm really excited. There's, there's tons of new insights, uh, which opened like, huge doors of new possibilities that the microscope allows us to map and see and verify and then track, which, you know, most people never had that opportunity. So check this out. Let's watch this video. So I always do this where I find something and then I back out back to 40 X so I can orient my eye and orient myself. So I do things in a very specific way so I can take a picture and so I can orient myself later on and be like, this is 40, this is 100, this is this is 100. So look at the difference between this 100x and the 100x we were looking at before, if you can. This is a bacterial feeder, as you'll see in a moment, but it's most likely uh, rep rebditis. But because there's millions of species, we have to always be tentative about our um, conclusions in this space. Thank you so much, Brian, for letting folks in. I appreciate it. So as you can see, as we get closer, now we're at 400X. And we can start seeing clearer the mouth parts. Oh, that was a good one. So the moments of clarity when we're in 4K, we can capture post if we're recording it, right? That's really key. Like, let's let's look at it. So this is, th these are images. 
And you could see how beautiful and sharp it is. These are images. Look at this. These are images from the epifluorescence lens. It's important to remember that the light is coming from above, not below. So we can look at the surface of things in a way that you can't with bright field. You can see that those glowing dots are bacilli, right? And you can see that some of them are conjugating, doing horizontal gene transfer here in real time. I love microscopy. <laughs> And this is a giant, giant test data amoeba with this rather flat side and it's facing us. The mouth is facing us. There's other, other images I have where it's tumbled down. And then this is mycorrhizal fungi in a root fragment. This is what's called a propagule. And this is the best, this is what you want to see in your biofertilizer, your mycorrhizal inoculant that you're adding. And this is the kind of clarity, you guys see this? Pretty amazing, right? That the 4K camera and the lenses from LNW Scientific can give you. And it looks this way when it's right here, okay? Because I, we'll get into that. The clarity really allows us to identify things even when we're pretty far away. And when we get close, we can get images that are, are otherwise impossible to get. This is purple non-sulfur bacteria, Rhodosodomonas palustris. So these images are in 4K, which allows us to really zoom in and the resolution to stay as sharp as possible. And I know there's above 4K cameras now in the world and BioVid, I'm excited for them to come out with, you know, next level, but it's only like the, the quality of your camera that allows you to zoom further because at a thousand X that, well, we'll talk about that too. So look at this. This is the iPhone camera on the AM scope. So zooming in does that, but, but that was video, right? Well, this is a screenshot of a 4k video zoomed in closer, just like that. Kind of different, right? Kind of different. That's a 4K video screenshot. So we can see those parts so clearly. It's bacterial omnivore. A lot of a lot of nematodes are switchers, a lot of nematodes. They can fit their mouth around it, they'll eat it. You know what I mean? is a bacterial feeder. And so you can see there's a there's a type of clarity that that you don't get otherwise. This is uh the lighting technique that that I was really surprised that no one else had figured it out before me. I I I'm still kind of in shock that no one had figured this out. But this is an unadulterated root. The roots that we see are smashed or cut. We don't actually have the ability to evaluate them well. Root hairs, trichomes. If we don't mess with it and we set things up properly, nature can speak to us. We can see what is actually happening and then we can observe and learn. Someone asked me this week in an interview, they, they said, you know, how, you know, what is your recommendation? I, and I was like, let's observe. Let's let like, how, no one's doing the tests on anything that the significant 360 test and putting them together to map out what it truly means to be good in their industry. And, and that means testing the soil. That means testing the biology. That means looking at the DNA, looking at the endophytes and the rhizosphere, the minerals, the, you know, the plant sap analysis, the bionutrient meter readouts, all of it. And so that that's really what this is all about. So do you notice a difference between, between those two different microscopes? <laughs> because one, we can go and verify all the things I've been talking about 
we can explore and verify. With this, it's going to be like we're in pool water looking at things. And and it works, but not well. And it, it'll lead to, I'm afraid that it'll lead most people to frustration over time or eye problems at the very least. <laughs>